Isn't this fun? It's a pen, of course, you know, like all things, but play value is pretty high. This is actually supposed to be a light bulb. Look at it. When I hold up the camera, it's supposed to be a light bulb with a thread there to it. And that's supposed to be a bulb. But this is probably a rubber. So this thing here is a, a pencil, a razor. So, and that's, well, perhaps it can't be a razor because it's got a, a ballpoint pen and this is one of those ink ones. But there we are. It's a lot of fun because you can play with it and, and hit things with it and um, just play. But I like bouncing it and catching it. So I can, on a very hard surface, I can make it bounce up to about um, two foot high and catch it. So this is 2000 and, um, eight where i have found so many sort of what i call second best toys i've had to have two briefcases full of these second best so there's quite an array of interesting things which have had very little exposure to the light so we're going to expose them now i think here's a sweet little thing it comes with a little pad and it's one of those little badges which has got uh, magnets on the back so that that's that's the actual catch that's a, a magnet there and there's the battery and there's the front and now what I'm going to do is, um, I'll bring it right up to the front so you can actually read it. Oh. And if we put it somewhere up the top of my, we're going to turn it on first. There's a little tiny switch on the back that we have to push. There we are. And th ooh, ooh, is, it, is it high enough? I don't know. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. About there. I'll try to hold up. So it's a bit of fun. It flashes away and just looks like a little bit of fun, which I like the idea of that very much. So a little item for um, wearing at parties and things. Then there's a very clever item here, which is, um, this is what do I what do you call this? The old Elusive E, which we had for years. We still sell it on the website. I was delighted in 2008 to receive an origami version from Mick Guy, who runs the Origami Society in Great Britain, making the Elusive E, but out of um, folded paper. He's absolutely brilliant at folding paper. So, so we have to have a go. It's only three pieces, and we've got to do them in the usual way. That one at the bottom and that one in the middle. Let me just get it my way up first that way and then that goes like that and the one at the top goes uh, something like that I think it is then we turn it round and I've got to set the angles at the right positions and so on something something like that big E all in white letters I think it is but you it's a little bit tricky to see I'm not sure I've got that bit right let me just check this this way around yeah it's got to be that way around isn't it? That, that's right I think and that's still not working for me. That's that top one's okay. That's oh, uh, 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 I'm not sure how that one. Oh, I see it goes like that. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I think it does. It's funny, isn't it? When you haven't done elusive E for some time, it becomes quite tricky. tricky. Let's see if that's going to be any better. It's very elusive, isn't it? There's supposed to be a white band coming up the back here, and then coming through here, and then coming through there. It's something like that, but it's, um, I mean, it's much stronger when you do it in black pieces, in particular black pieces, but even so, it's very adventurous to make it out of bits of paper, and that's what Nick Mick's done. He's done a very nice little version of the Elusive E, all done just for origami people, and make your own version. No need to wait for the plastic one to buy, so it's a jolly good, jolly good item, that. And the last item is one of these little wind-ups, which I just love. It's one of the cleverest ones I've ever come across, I think. He's he's quite fun. Get him up the camera to show him to show his face, etc. And now see what he does on the table here. Look at this. This is beautiful. Wind him up, wind him up, wind him up, and he really does a lovely action. Look at those legs splitting, doing the splits. Oh, beautiful! And he slowly moves to one side too as he's doing it. Just give him a few more winds because he's such a a brilliant performer. That's a very, very nice, well thought out mechanism, I think. I think it's one of, one of the most enjoyable little designs of these mini wind-ups I've ever come across. So, a goodie. So, a good start to 2008. There's a lot of stuff from those two cases of the stuff I've got, of, of stuff I really look at. So, mmm, treasury. <laughs>